Hello everyone, this is Coleman from Coleman's Coins and Currency, here today with another epic, exciting, educational daily numismatic lecture. And in today's discussion, we are going to discuss how you can avoid fake and counterfeit U.S. and foreign coins and currency. First off, I will give you some key tips on what to look for slash feel for when you are looking at coins. The first thing is weight. Counterfeit coins are very, very light compared to the real coins that are heavy. So if, if you have a fake Morgan silver dollar, it will weigh very very light like you know this but a but a real morgan silver do silver dollar will weigh like this because it is heavier and more dense because of the silver content and the precious metals that are in the morgan silver dollar and a second key thing is detail most forgers they don't even look at the at the you know detail of a coin they will just carve a replica of that coin but they will not add the you know tail feathers the 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 um very delicate and intricate designs that are featured on most US and foreign coins and a thing and a third thing to look for on your paper money is feel the texture fake paper money feels like this it feels like computer paper meaning that it is extremely thin like this and a normal US banknote feels thick meaning that the the material that is used to make it is a mix of cotton fiber and linen so your bill is pretty much going to not feel like this you know thin it's gonna feel thick and a second thing to look for is the microprinting and the holograms series 1990 bills and later have the microprinting meaning that you can hold a 5 through 100 from series 1990 the small portrait bills or the small head bills to the most modern pink back fives and of course everyone knows about the uh, um about the blue back hundred with the you know um franklin the whole you know rotating inkwell everyone knows about the hundred the the new hundreds that have been out for about seven years now and they just you know know and they know how to you know feel them and and all that fun stuff. But again, that is going to be a totally different video where I'm going to discuss the transitions from the first U.S. bank you know, to the to the most recent. But of course, it's going to be a different video where I go into depth about that. But a really good tip to avoid fake coins is don't buy raw coins. And here's why. Graded coins are less likely to be fake than raw coins. And I know it sounds kind of strange, but I'm kind of going to explain why. Most forgers wouldn't make a fake PCGS holder a fake NGC holder, a fake Annex hold holder, they wouldn't do that on a coin that is not super valuable. Now, if they did make a fake graded coin, they would make like a like a fake, you know, 
1893 S Morgan or a 1909 S VDB or a 1943 Copper Penny or a 1879 $4 proof Stella, which is, again, all key dates and very, very hard to find coins. They are extremely hard to, to find. Personally, I have never found one in circulation, and if I found one from a bank, it would be a, a epic score. It would be like the most valuable thing I have found doing, you know, three years of bank hunting. Yeah, so you, so key date coins are more likely to be faked than the common date coins. Now, there are some people that, that, will make fake common coins such as a such as a mercury dime that's well only worth about two bucks yes they would make a fake mercury dime to sell for around two dollars but it's really not worth all the trouble and the and the and the work that you know that these forgers and counterfeiters have to put into into making these coins they would make a priceless u.s coin meaning probably one that sells for anywhere from probably 10 grand all the way up to you know 100 grand to you know 500 grand to a couple million they would make fake coins that are of high value high value not low so that is it for today's CCC Daily Educational Numismatic Lecture. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on your push bell notifications so that you will never miss another Coleman's Coins and Currency ed you know, Daily Educational Numismatic Lecture videos and other really cool, fun you know, numismatic videos and some variety videos that I just kind of throw in my, you know, YouTube channel to make it diverse. So, this is Coleman from Coleman's Coins and Currency wishing you a good day, night, or whatever time it is that you are watching this video. And I will see all of you viewers tomorrow where... I will share the weekly circulation find slash bank find, so take care.